Hello, everybody. And if you're like me, you're here because you have a problem with your AdSense campaign. And the problem I specifically had was that I could get my ad approved, and you'll see these are under review, but I could get my ad approved, but get no impressions. And there's a very specific reason this was happening that's not actually solved in Google's uh, forums and its um, troubleshooting. So I'll go ahead and I'll go over this. And I, I didn't figure this out myself. I had to call Google and one of their employees helped me through and kind of explained why this was a problem. So hopefully this saves you a lot of time on the phone um, or, you know, eat through email. So if your ad's approved and you're not seeing any impressions, what could be the problem and what, you know, from what I've seen is likely the problem is that you put too much, uh, too many restrictions in a single ad group. So you'll notice I have three different ad groups here, one for keywords, one for audiences, and one for topics. So keywords, audiences, and topics here. So I can go to any one of these three groups. So I'll go to keywords, and you'll notice I don't have any audience filters, and I don't have any topic filters in that specific group. That's very important. You want to make sure these groups only use the keywords you want and only use the topics you want for the topics and all the audiences you want for audiences. So making sure you have that differentiation between your groups then opens up the funnel some, but you're still restricting it to, you know, the audience you want, to people looking up the keywords you want, to the topics you want. You're still restricting that. So it's it's got a much broader audience, but you're still narrowed it down. If that makes any sense. Um, I'll just go ahead and show you kind of what to do. So if you have these ad groups, let's just say you only have one ad group, right? We'll go to our, this is just the campaign. You can go to the home page of the campaign and then you click add groups. And to add a new one, you click this and you name it, you know, audiences and you then only put in audiences that you want. So say you want, you know, food, uh, there you go, food, uh, don't set any keywords, don't set any topics, don't put any placement in, and then set your demographics. So you can set demographics, that's not, that's not a problem. So wh whatever your demographics are, say, you know, I only want people who are eating who are 65 plus, I only want senior eaters. Well, there you go. So you put that in, you got to make sure you put it in a uh, CPV vid for this specific type of ad that I'm showing, which is a video ad. Um, that's, you know, you, you put in whatever you think. Now, this could actually be another problem that, uh, or another reason you're not showing ads is because this right here specifically, you might be bidding too low or your budget might be too low. Um, that's another problem, but that actually is covered in the help. So I, I hope that if you're struggling with that, just try to look up those very specific problems you have. And there are kind of guides out there. So hopefully that will help. But pretty much the issue that I found that was really, really confusing is just the ad groups. So at the end of the day, if you're struggling, you have your uh, status isn't under review, uh, it's approved, and then it's not showing ads, well, that's that could easily be the problem. So go ahead and try that, and then you have to wait, give it the system a little time to update for or them to also have to process your other ad groups, which you know might take a day or two. So give that a little bit of time, but then you should start seeing impressions. And once you start seeing impressions, you know your ad's getting out there. So I hope this video helped you guys. Let me know in the comments below. If you have any other problems with Google Ads, let me know because I'm just going to be going through this and experimenting with it, and I could easily you know, run into another problem and find a solution for it. So anyway, let me know below. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.